Thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm really happy to be able to show you this uh, new CAD course interface that I've uh, helped design for this new 2018 release. Just so that you know, this uh, CAD course interface layout was originally designed by me probably 10, 12 years ago in uh, TurboCAD version 11. And I used it to help create uh, training movies. Originally, it was designed to be extremely compact so that it would fit on uh, any screen resolutions and particularly for smaller movies. But uh, the, I, the funny thing is that even though it's so compact, it is extremely powerful because you can uh, at most access uh, any command that you have within two clicks. So the, the philosophy of this um, uh, interface is that I've grouped all of the different tools into different areas so that are appropriate or similar. So over here on the left hand side I have uh, the selection and snap and grouping tools. They can all be found over here. Um, all of the um, uh, drawing and modification tools and inserting stuff can be found in these different tabbed interfaces across the top of the screen. Um, all of our palettes over here can be uh, compactly used on the on the right hand side over here, and you can switch between these over here. And then you have the interface, the inspector bar down here with the prompt area and the coordinates, etc., down at the bottom. Okay, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to just uh, draw a couple of things and uh, show you how it actually works and uh, it should be self-evident as we're going. So that I think it, uh, what I've shown you here is how you how each of these tools um, you've got all of a, a whole selection of tools across the top here which will enable you to access that group of tools. Uh, you've seen how we've got our palettes on the right hand side and we can use them to interact with measurement info or tools, uh, you know, selection info, how we can use the palette group over there. We've seen how we can tab down here to the bottom by typing in, uh, you know, the tab key and entering your information and how the inspector bar at the bottom interacts with the tools that we're using. And we've seen on the left hand side over here how these tools uh, work. All right. Now, the other thing that I am super excited about with this interface is the uh, the keyboard shortcuts, okay? The, this is the interface I'm using now, the Pro interface. But if you come to the commands here, you see a new feature of 2018 is the ability to come in here and you can do a, a search for a command. So I could type in um, hatch over here, okay? And click on search. And you see there's path hatching, there's the pick point hatching that we just used. Um, and then you see here's another one called create hatch, okay? And then you could go and drag this onto an interface if you wanted to and put it over there and create your own toolbar if you, that's what you're looking for. The new technology in 2018 is where you actually press and release the control button. You don't hold the control key down. Um, you uh, press and release it. And then you have a certain period, like about a second, to type in a, a shortcut key combination and then you, it'll activate it. Let me give you a couple of examples here. So um, let's just find um, a single, okay? A single line. I'm just going to do here. So line single. The keyboard shortcut is Control L and S. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in my drawing area, I press and release the control key, and then I quickly push L and S. And now you see I'm drawing single lines. And if I'm trying to draw a circle, I press and release the control key, and then press C. Okay. Now I'm drawing a circle. If I want to draw a two-point circle, I press Control C2, and then I can draw a double point circle, or Control C3, and I can draw then a triple point circle. Okay? Or if I want to draw a rectangle, I press Control R E C T. Okay? And then you can draw a rectangle like that. 